What is the outcome for Taurus? The overall energy for the week is the Six of Pentacles. So the Six of, Pe of Pentacles is give and take. So this is uh, lending money, being repaid loans. Uh, this is giving of time, giving of resources, giving to charity, receiving gifts, giving gifts, receiving gifts. Um, so it is a very very um, give and take energy, an ebb and flow, um, uh, an energy where you're getting out what you're you're putting in, which is lovely. We have the Knave of Swords. So this is you and your energy, um, your situation. So the Knave of Swords <laughs> is you being very impulsive, um, really jumping into things or, or taking advantage of opportunities immediately. So some opportunity may have presented itself and you are going to take advantage of that. Um, you can be very impulsive in the sense that you just jump into things. Something pops up and you do it. Um, and you don't really think about the consequences. So this card is kind of a bit of a caution as well to sort of remind you to think things through before you act. And this can also mean that there's someone in your periphery that is maybe um, someone who is acting and speaking without thinking and it's negatively affecting you somehow. So it's kind of um, there's kind of unintended consequences for their words and for their actions. So that could be something that is um, happening around you right now as well. The Queen of Chalices is in your challenge position. So this could be a Pisces Cancer or Scorpio person or someone who has the Queen of Chalices qual uh, qualities. So um, this, this person can be sort of what's, what's holding you back in this situation or even maybe what's creating this impulsiveness or this is the person who may be responsible for this impulsive behavior in your periphery. So we have the, this Pisces Cancer or Scorpio person. Now this can be intuition and faith. So you might be losing faith in something and that's keeping you from moving forward and it's causing you to be a bit impetuous or you might be not listening to your intuition so you might not be following that internal compass that um, really does help you and guide you and uh, let you know when you're um, you're being too impulsive and there might be something that is going to be a negative consequence of your actions so you really do need to listen to that internal guidance but Maybe for some reason right now, um, it's blocked. For some reason, you can't hear it. So in your advice portion, you have the chariot. So this is a great card. This is taking control. And what's nice about this is I can see from taking control here, it moves right over to the emperor in the outcome position. So... Um, I normally would have probably put the Emperor back. I don't normally take two cards for the outcome um, in the weekly spreads, but the Chariot is here, and the Chariot is about taking control, taking the reins, and, you know, driving your own destiny, really, um, you know, steering your life in the direction that you want it to go, and, uh, you know, using your knowledge and experience and um, your skill in order to make sure that things are going in the direction that you desire them to. So um, it's a great card in the advice position because it says take control and make that decision. So you need to make that decision and, uh, and move forward or make, it, make a series of decisions. So 
we have the emperor here in the outcome position. So this is you being in control. You have the authority. You are the leader. Um, and you are someone who can make decisions for the good of others and be very fair in your judgments. The emperor is about rules and regulations. So the outcome might have to do with setting some house rules um, and or... Um, really maybe regulating um, some of the finances because the Ten of Pentacles is a finance card or you might be in control of your finances here in the in the outcome position so we have the Ten of Pentacles which indicates that um, financial abundance it in indicates the inheritance card um, sums of money and we have the give and take here so you you may be um, you know able to make decisions or better able to make decisions about um, your wealth and your abundance at the uh, at the outcome for the week so um, yeah definitely the Emperor is all about having control um, the other thing that is very possible here is taking the reins um, driving your own destiny perhaps you are boss will be giving you a raise and the Emperor can represent your supervisor, your boss, your employer, your direct supervisor, someone who has authority over you and somebody who sets the rules. Um, and the Ten of Pentacles here is basically a raise, perhaps a small raise for you. This could be um, a bonus of some sort. Perhaps you're getting um, some type of commission even. So this could be very work-related as well in the outcome. But, um, you know, you need to be able to take control and um, really be strong making decisions here and using your, your knowledge your, and your skill in order to make those decisions. So it, it is um, going to have to do with that that ebb and flow of your finances and your abundance this week. Okay. Taurus. September 5th to 11th, 2016. What are the messages for Taurus? Mott fairness. This situation will be handled in a fair and just manner. Let me suggest another definition for fairness. It's when all parties involved surrender their personal agendas in favor of the greater good for the entirety of the group. This requires trust in the wisdom of the whole. When it comes to matters of disputes, the attacks are based on fears that you may not receive your share. Yet, attacks amplify the hurt and the pain that caused the dispute in the first place. Why not surrender your attachment to a specific outcome and instead direct your holy will toward the resolution of the argument? Hold a firm vision of a peaceful outcome and let the pieces fall into place in a harmonious manner. So the, this can mean a lawsuit will be resolved, a dispute will end harmoniously, you'll be treated fairly, keep everyone's needs in mind during negotiations, release guilt and shame as these emotions can attract a punishing attack. So this could even have to do with something with your union in that case or your pensions. So that's interesting. So for everyone, I think that that will be a little bit different. But this could just even be negotiating with your boss for a raise. 
um, and letting them know that you're worth it, letting them see all of the effort that you're putting in and all of your skill. Um, and this can also be negotiating, negotiating with clients. So you may be negotiating for a bonus um, or you may be asking for some type of signing bonus. Um, either way, the advice here, be strong, you're in your power, so take the reins and uh, you need to make that decision. All right. Thank you so much, Taurus, and I hope you have a wonderful week. Take care.